Okay, world. Uh, this is a beverage air uh, two door uh, prep table. It says uh, Elite Series and it says beverage air. Upper right hand corner. This is a model. Shoot, I don't know what it is. Anyways, uh, I don't care at this point. It's nighttime. Got a call, emergency call, 2 30 in the afternoon. Out here it's about oh, 7 o'clock or something in the evening, finishing this thing up. Um, anyways, check this, uh, check this drain line out. You guys have got to love this. I'll zoom back here a little bit. This is Beverage Air's, uh, <laughs> engineers, uh, this is the engineers earning their money. Coming out of here, drain line, got like a loop for a trap. And then it just is kinked right into the freaking drain pan. Just, uh, look at this freaking kink. And this is how the factory does this. It's a freaking joke. This is just disgusting. Engineers should be taken out, tarred, and feathered. Man, I tell you, this is just... Man, I'm going to talk to these beverage air guys and give them a piece of my mind. This is just a joke. Uh, so, anyhow, nevertheless, this little condensing unit slides right into this little that hole right there and smashes right up against that pipe, that hose, you know. And <laughs> so, hey, if any of you guys have run into this on this unit, uh, let me know what you've done to uh, make this a better situation because something's going to be going to have to be done and uh, it's got to be fixed. <laughs> so anyhow, just thought you guys would enjoy that one. Got a nice little condensing unit. Ah, put some, uh, whoa, almost dropped the condensing unit. That wouldn't be good. But, uh, anyways, these things are kind of sketchy to work on. Anyhow, um, put in a, uh, it had, you know, no service valves on this thing, beverage air. Uh, so, I wonder if there's a model on this thing. No, they don't have the model on the unit here. This is a, this was made 8-4 of 2008. So, shoot, it's not that old at all, and it's got, probably got an evaporator leak. Um, head pressure was like 200, and uh, pulling down into a vacuum, so, had non-condensable something going on inside of it, so, recovered all the refrigerant all the the whole nine and a half ounces which when I recovered it it was weird uh, it's like nothing came out I measured my jug before and after and it was the same weight uh, don't understand that but anyhow um, so I put uh, put some real access valves on this thing uh, on the uh, sweated in a uh, service valve right there and sweat it in a T. Just cut the suction line here and uh, sweat it in a T so uh, I could get my suction and my discharge pressures. And now it was running, like I said, like in a vacuum and like uh, 200 I was seeing head pressure. And now I'm seeing like, uh, oh, like 13 and 129. Uh, ambient out here is about 74. So it's about done here. Uh, just waiting for my uh, suction uh, attempt to come down a bit here. And adjusting the charge, dialing this thing in. So anyways, the thing is, uh, came down like 20 degrees in like 10 minutes, which is not too bad. Finally, my temps are down at 43.9 or 45, so around 44 degrees probably in there somewhere. So, health department legal is 41 degrees max. I like to pull it down to 35 degrees and then come back on at 40. Um, so, that's what I'm shooting for here. But I don't have my, uh, these are critical charge cap tube system. So, and, uh, suction line temp is, is cool. See what the temp is on here. Well, why don't my, my gauge ain't working? Uh, I'm reading 70 degrees. I don't, I don't believe that. That suction line's colder than that. So, anyways, gonna see what's up. So, anyways, 
Just thought you guys might like to see this little video. A little uh, just pain in the butt unit. So, all right. Hey, anyways, take care. Thanks for watching.